modern requirements for a combined long-range high-speed reconnaissance system resulted in the initiation of Project MX-1602. The ultimate goal of this project is to provide a means of combining the high performance of an RF-84F with a long-range capability of an RB-36 for bomb damage assessment missions. Consolidated Volte Aircraft Corporation, Fort Worth, Texas, in coordination with Weapon Systems Division, WADC, designed for use in the RB-36, a mechanism which would carry, release, and retrieve the parasite airplane. With this arrangement, the parasite could be transported to the enemy zone, where it would be released for the reconnaissance mission. After completing its mission, the parasite would be retrieved by the B-36 and carried back to the home base. Designed to accomplish the parasite operation, the first mechanism installed on the RB-36 consisted essentially of a main retracting jack and a boom-type structure. Located near the end of the boom is a drogue which will receive the probe attached to the parasite aircraft. In the air, the parasite is retrieved by extending the trapeze and lowering the boom so that the fighter can engage its nose probe with the drogue receiver. This arrangement allows the parasite to remain as far from the carrier as possible during the critical period of initial hook-on. To prove the feasibility of the operation, an available F-84E aircraft was used. A probe installed on the nose of the parasite is used to engage the drogue on the end of the boom. The probe is locked into place by the operation of two spring-loaded latches. The parasite can be released by retracting these latches and allowing the drag load of the F-84 to withdraw it from the drogue. During flight tests with a long boom, initial contact was difficult because the drogue moved in a small eccentric circle. In addition, the drogue had a tendency to tumble unless the probe was engaged almost dead center. This was corrected by redesigning the drogue to make it self-centering. When attached to the single point position, the parasite aircraft proved to be divergently unstable in pitch. Due to this instability, the pilot was not able to maintain contact for longer than 30 seconds. As a result of these flight tests, it was decided that the vertical flexibility of the boom was causing the pitch instability. In an attempt to eliminate this instability, the boom was shortened to reduce its flexibility. This change necessitated the installation of an additional probe just forward of the parasite canopy to accommodate the short boom. Flight tests with this configuration did not indicate any appreciable improvement in the instability problem. The drug receiver was then temporarily installed between the aft latches on the boom in order to determine if a rigid installation would solve the problem. At this location, Hydraulic pressure could be maintained on the trapeze to provide almost infinite vertical stiffness. With this configuration, the parasite was stable during single point contact. These flight tests demonstrated that pitch instability could be eliminated provided the vertical stiffness of the boom could be adequately increased. To accomplish this, a hydraulic snubber strut was installed between the end of the boom and the front of the RB-36 bomb bay. The snubber strut prevents sudden changes in the position of the boom, but does not hinder slow motions which occur during retraction or extension. This installation solved the pitch instability problem for smooth air operations. 
Parasite aircraft is secured to the trapeze mechanism by pins located just below and to the rear of the canopy. For a normal air launch operation, the pilot of the parasite disengages his aft pins by operating one of the levers mounted on the instrument panel. This actuates a kicker on each side of the fuselage, which in turn trips the latch release on the boom. To disengage from the single point position, he uses another lever to retract the latches on the nose probe. In case the manual release does not function, the pilot can release from the single point position by firing an explosive squib which severs the nose probe. Either the B-36 pilot or the trapeze operator can jettison the parasite at any time. The two aircraft can take off separately and make an aerial hookup, or the parasite can be loaded into the B-36 on the ground. The main gear of the carrier aircraft are placed on blocks in order to provide clearance for the vertical tail of the F-84. Loaded on a dolly, the parasite can be rolled into position under the trapeze and the nose probe engaged. Then, the trapeze will be lowered until the aft latches engage the pins on the F-84. At this time, the aircraft is ready for retraction into the bomb bay of the B-36. Takeoffs and landings with a parasite in stowed position were considered to be normal by the RB-36 pilot. The parasite must be placed in the extended position prior to the raising or lowering of the main gear of the carrier aircraft. This is necessary to prevent damage to the wings of the F-84. After the gear has been retracted, the parasite is raised into stowed position, which is the normal cruise configuration. 